Hey everybody, Marks with the Comics, and I'm back. This time I wanted to talk to you about the uh, auction house, local auction house that happened over the weekend. Um, it was a toy and cards, comics related auction house. I'll go over some of the uh, prices on some of the key books that they had during the auction and just compare them to what the current market price is and see whether or not if you bought them from the local auction house, did you save? So, uh, or did you make out? So, uh, or did you overpay? So, uh, if you're interested in checking that out, stay tuned for that intro. Okay, so, welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So I wanted to get into the, um, I like to, you know, browse through some of the auction houses when I get a chance, especially if it's like a, a pricey book that's on my list of books to search for. And, you know, I previously talked about that. I was looking for, you know, to finish off my 2021 goal books. I still had a, a Golden Age Submariner book to get and finish off my uh, Moon Knight Volume 1 run and get an LB Cold cover. So. I went to the um, local auction house and looked at their catalog to see, you know, what books they were going to have. So, um, you know, looked at their catalog and I'm going to, you know, didn't see anything that was on my required list. So then I started looking to see if there was any books that I could potentially just buy if, if I thought it was a good deal. So um, the auction com concluded on Saturday. They do these auctions around, you know, about quarterly, sometimes a little bit more frequently. And it's the uh, Bruno and Company Auctioneer's House. It, it's based uh, in Rhode Island. So, um, but you can, you know, if you're in the area, you can go to it and attend it live. But um, if you're not in the area, you obviously you can bid on it online. I told my buddy Steve, he was looking for uh, Team MT number one, third print. And they had one there for, uh, for auction. So he was, you know, checking that book out. But uh, we'll, we'll go through the, um, the catalog, we'll look at some of the, the more pricey books and then see whether or not, if you bought it there, could you have you gotten it for a good price. So we'll check those out. We'll highlight some of those books and then go from there. Because I mentioned before, like when you think of auction houses, you usually think of the big three. I think of Heritage, Comic Link, Comic Connect, and uh, you know and Christie's as well, but they don't do as many uh, comics when it comes to uh, compared to those three. But those are the big three auction houses. But people often forget that you can get some good deals in local auction houses, or you may not even know that there are local auction houses, potentially even in your own state. You can easily just do a quick Google search and see where they are located. And uh, it's pretty easy to sign up and then just look to see what they're selling. But uh, anyways, so we'll, we'll go to ours and check it out. So I'm back. Um, so like I said, we're going to look at some of the lots I had on watch for the auction, what they sold for, and then basically just do a comparison and some of the big money lots that sold for this auction as well. Um, so these are the few books I had just like eyeballing and just to see what they were selling it for. Uh, Iron Man Submariner 7.5 sold for 450, which I think it was a decent price. Um, let's see, Marvel Comic Feature number one, Marvel Superheroes 13. That actually, for wow, that book still hasn't like been doing well. I'm surprised. 250. Uh, let's see, She Hulk number one. Sold for two two hundred. So we're gonna just uh, compare that price real quick to uh, most recent, and uh, go from there. So it looks like the last one sold for 176, and that was a new stand. Um, so that's not bad. Looks like it may have been a little bit overpriced on the uh, on eBay, but um, all right. So uh, let's go back to the lots. 
I was looking for some cool uh, Tales to Astonish books. I was like eyeballing just for like around a hundred bucks or less. And uh, there was this pretty cool skull cover. This was uh, issued 96, sold for a hundred bucks for a 9 -0. That's That's actually a pretty good price. Um, and then two of the, uh, uh, well, one of the, the bigger books that they had listed was this uh, Ultimate Fallout 4 9.8, sold for 20, 2400 which will do a, a quick price comparison on this book as well. So last one sold for 2400 actually, and this was uh, yesterday. So that was actually right on the money. But I do think that I this book is down in price though, because it used to be a three thousand dollar book. So to, if I do, uh, there's a little a uh, cool uh, calculator tool that you can go on Google and um, quickly use. Uh, let's take a look. So we'll say it was three thousand dollars was the previous price, and it sold for twenty four hundred. So that's a 20% decrease in price. That's a 20% decrease in price is pretty significant in just a span of a couple of months. So you can see even like the big like modern books are down quite a bit. But uh, we're gonna go back to the uh, list. I'll uh, all right. So I'll go back to the actual uh, auction. And um, I'll show you what they had listed. Like I said, it was uh, a comics, uh, trading cards. What I mean, trading cards, mainly Pokemon cards, and some toys. And uh, they, the person that was selling it was like he had a lot of props, and um, he, he collected a lot of props over the years. So like from like Nickelodeon shows and so forth. So you see a lot of these were pretty nostalgic to me. Like Legends of the Hidden Temple, uh, Clarissa explains it all. I used to watch a bunch of these shows growing up, but um, I'll just quickly scroll through those so we can get to the actual um, so we can get to the actual comic books, and that's where you know we're here for. So, and I'm just gonna basically spotlight the pricier books. And they had some pretty pretty expensive books on here as well. They had an Avengers one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here here's one of the the bigger sales. This was the uh, ASM 50 at a 90. So I'm gonna do a little price price analysis. This is I, I find it fun to do these price analyses while we're on here. So Amazing Spider-Man 50 at a CGC 9.0, which is a uh, a really, really hard, you know, it's a high grade for this book, so I don't know if we'll get uh, an actual 9 -0. And these, I don't count these, because these are way overpriced. Uh, I never recommend using, uh, getting Stanley signatures as an investment when, um, because, it's, yeah, and the big argument behind that is, yeah, you know, he's not around to sign anymore, but he was the most, you know, the easiest person to get signatures from there's there's probably millions of them out there but uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a now nah, this so it's it's gonna be a tough one to compare because there isn't one on here so that sucks all right so we'll go to the uh, next book as you can see that for 5500 probably was a good a good price but it's tough to say because there's nothing to compare it to so let's see if we can get something a little bit more uh, available. Here we go. ASM 129 at a 9.0. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find this book. All right. 129. Oh, perfect. There's one actually just, just sold, I think, a couple of days before this auction finished. 
So this sold for 38.50. So I'll do that. 38.50, and I'll compare it to what it sold for for 4100. And let's see what we get. So if you bought that ASM 129 in that local auction, you overpaid by 6%. And uh, sometimes, you know, like that book, there's quite a bit of those in that high grade. So uh, in this case, you know, you, could, you, you overpaid. And I'm not going to include, you know, shipping, sales tax, local tax, whatever. I'm just going from straight purchase price because I don't know offhand what uh, what the auction house um, charges for for fees. So I'm just going to go by direct purchase price. It's the same thing with eBay. I'm just going by what it sold for because uh, they do they do charge it quite a bit on taxes as well. So I don't have that information on hand, so I can't go buy it. So that's going to be the easiest way to just com just compare it straight, you know, head to head. Um, let's go on and see if there's any more big ticket items right on this page. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, so I apologize if this seems like it's lagging. There's an Avengers 1 CGC 8.0. Here we go. This is probably the biggest sale in the entire uh, auction. So I don't know if there's going to be one on here to compare in price. I know this was uh, what when they did the previews what they were anticipating was going to be the uh, big sale. Uh, they were hoping I think they were saying around 20 to 24,000 was what they were hoping and uh, there isn't one I had to compare. So that's uh, So there's one right here. What's this? Looks like this is a, CBC, a CBCS copy. That sold for 3000 is that right? I don't know. If that's the case, somebody got an incredible deal. So I don't know about that one, that seems a little sketchy. Um, so moving on, there's an Avengers 4 at an 8.0 that sold for 7000 I think I'll be able to look that up. There's one listed there for ten grand. <laughs> well, let's see if there's any recent sales. Oh, perfect. So, uh, it was a buy it now just a couple of days prior for eight grand and uh, this one sold for seven wow so that's a that's gonna be a sizable uh, a sizable difference so if you compared the two eight grand on eBay to the seven grand at the local auction house the person that bought it at the local auction house saved twelve and a half percent that's that's a pretty incredible uh, price difference for a book at that price so there you go um, let's see what else we can find this you know this is a couple of good examples here where sometimes just you know browsing through local auction houses you can get some good deals to save 12 percent 12 and a half percent on a major Silver Age book and at that price point is huge. Um, so let's see. There's a Daredevil one. I think I'll be able to find this one on here. And then we'll probably call it Wraps. Unless I find another big book. Um, Daredevil one, CGC 5.0. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. Let's see, let's see. I don't think there's going to be a recent sale. You got a... What? A 3.5? That sold yesterday for 6400 that's uh that's incredible um and this was a five a five oh so all right it's not really a, a fair comparison because it's a three five versus a five oh but let's just let's just play it this way anyway so 6400 i know it's not the same grade it's actually a higher grade from the local auction house but um even that <laughs> as you can see it's uh, uh nearly a 31 percent price increase for that person who decided to buy the uh 3.5 versus buying a 5.0 i couldn't even imagine what that would have sold up for um uh, on the on the auction site but uh that's that's incredible um I think we'll do just one more book and um, and go from there. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a, a big boy book. All right. Uh, 2000, 2000. Let's get a bigger book. I know my buddy Steve was looking for uh, TMT number one, third printing. That's a nice book right there. 6.0, sold for five. Um, let's see, let's see. I think his is actually coming up. Um, Nope, don't see it just yet. There was a bunch of um, Strange Tales 110 that went up for auction. Um, I think there was three or four copies, all in different grades. Let's see. I think we're getting there. Hold up. Let's take a look. Uh, this was the uh, book he was looking at. That ended up selling for nine hundred. Um, not sure offhand if that was a good price or not, but uh, I know he was looking out for that issue. So, all right, here we go. This is the last big book I saw. This is uh, X-Men number one at a CGC 3.0. So, all right, X-Men one at a CGC 3.0. Hopefully we can get a recent sale hoping we can find one on here I know it's a pricey book but I don't tell me there's not one on here that's gonna blow all right oh here we go here is an X-Men CGC 3.0 but this was back in May May 3rd best offer was 12 and a half grand um, it's tough to say what the actual price was because when it's best offer accepted, but um, this one did sell at the auction house for ten and a half. Even if it's sold for say like twelve grand, let's let's just hypothetically say it was twelve and a half grand that it sold for. And uh, this one sold for ten 
1,500. Let's do the calculation. And then we get a 16% decrease. So even the big boy books like X-Men 1, you're starting to see a little bit of uh, retracement. So from their you know, early to late May highs that you were seeing for these big Silver Age uh, keys, like Daredevil, X-Men, GSX-1, so forth. And um, was it because it was, you know, just a local house and people got a good price? Or was it because we're starting to see that retracement? So we'll have to see going forward because it's only, uh, that was one sale. I was hoping to get more sales, but it is an expensive book. So it's, it's really hard to, to say. But uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys like that. Um, I like doing these things from time to time, just like comparing prices of books. Uh, what you can see from you know local auction houses versus like the big three or even eBay when you see them So uh, if you guys like that Smash the like button and until next time Mark Spectre Comics out